how's my quad squad doing it's the man the myth the legend quad mft here bringing you guys another pretty slick black ops 3 video again ratings are very much so appreciated whether it be a like or a dislike obviously i prefer the likes but i just want you guys to leave a rating now let's talk about common supply drops versus rare supply drops this has been extremely controversial ever since black ops 3 came out if you guys don't know the way you use your supply drops you guys are in luck if the whole time you've been playing black ops 3 you, you haven't realized that you can open supply drops you probably have so many crypto keys built up but you go down on the main menu and go down to the black market and it costs 10 crypto keys for a common supply drop and 30 crypto keys for a rare supply drop now actually i'm going to say right off the bat straight up confirmed by the person the the community manager of black ops 3 in call of duty he said common supply drops are the way to go if you're looking to get the best loot it may sound Sound dumb you may think well, why would they even put in rare supply drops if you could do that but people want the security of the of knowing that they're for sure going to get a rare no matter what okay so let me explain first off the tiers of the weapons of the different weapons you can get which you can't get any like uh stat altering weapons you can't get things that would increase the damage range rate of fire anything like that just things like camos calling cards taunts and stuff like that it goes common epic legendary and then epic epic being the best and common being the worst obviously so that's the way it goes common you obviously can get anything you want and then in the uh the actual rare supply drops the the ones that cost 30 your crypto keys the only thing that you're guaranteed is you're guaranteed a rare you're not guaranteed a legendary i think that would make them a lot more valuable or you're not guaranteed an epic if you're guaranteed an epic that's the only thing i would open because epics are actually so cool and i've opened up actually quite a few of them good good uh thankfully my girlfriend's really good at opening supply drops and she's really lucky but the thing is commons you you can open up three commons so you always have a chance of getting an epic a common a legendary or a rare you always have chances at that but with a rare you only have chance i mean obviously you, you can still get commons but you're just guaranteed because you do get three items no matter what you are guaranteed to get a rare now this is actually something that i've tested i've opened up rares and I'm not saying, you know, I've opened up millions on millions of supply drops and I have the actual odds. I'm saying just from my personal experience, common supply drops are a lot more fun. You get nine items instead of three and you're, you're probably still going to get epics and legendaries and rares. I've really only ever opened up a few rares and I've noticed the most, I guess you could call it profit out of spending crypto keys on commons. And even David Vonderhaar and a few other YouTubers that I know have basically confirmed that you only really want to open common drops. I mean, if you're really feeling it, maybe you should open up a rare supply drop but if you're really looking to maximize your crypto keys and go for those epics and legendaries definitely go with the common supply drop you also have a little bit more fun you can make videos out of it because instead of just having to open up you know you get 120 crypto keys instead of opening up four rare ones you can open up 12 comments and that's just to me it's a lot more entertaining it's a lot more fun you get three times the items whether it be calling cards camos taunts whatever it is you get three times the amount and you still have a good chance of getting epics rares and legendaries so hopefully you guys enjoyed this is basically telling you guys you can do rare some rare, rare supply drops if you want if you're looking to guarantee that you get a rare rares aren't even that good maybe if they were the top tier they're they're the one after common and legendary and epic are still higher than them but maybe if it guaranteed you a legendary and epic i do them a lot more often but common still have a really good chance of getting of getting rares epics and legendaries so that's what i'm gonna be sticking with for most of my videos and opening almost every single one of my supply drops i'll still do rare ones if i'm feeling it but for most of the time i'm gonna be doing common so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it was it, it was a, a pretty good one if you guys really wanted to know what's what's the deal with common versus rare supply drops so don't forget to leave a rating again likes or dislikes are awesome i'm really looking forward to uh likes because those those uh those make me sleep a little bit longer so hopefully you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe we're almost to seventy thousand subscribers don't forget to uh i was gonna say subscribe again but hopefully you guys enjoyed it's been your boy quadum ft and i'm audi five thousand